All right. Oh, you're recording now. I am recording now. I actually did not realize that. Yeah. So do you want to go ahead and start us off with... Alhambra! Alhambra! That's it. Yeah. That's it. We're done. Where are we? No. Okay. So Alhambra. Alhambra. A game about making an oasis village and making it more important than other people's oasis villages. So you can leave your oasis village and move somewhere you're not going to get sand in your nethers. It is uh, the winner of uh, Say it. Spiel, Spiel de des Jores. I think that means Game of the Year of 2003. Um, so yeah, so... It was given by the world-renowned Kritiker Price. That thing, what he just said. Yeah. So yeah, so hopefully this will be a uh, fun game to play, and afterwards we will uh, give it a score on our uh, three different scales of uh, ease of use, replay value, and overall fun. I'm actually pretty sure it's haunted because it did just appear here one day and nobody claimed ownership to it. All right. <laughs> I'm not making that up. <laughs> Good to know. I don't know who left this here. All right, well, uh, let's start playing Alhambra. All right. Here's how the game works. There are four different colors of money, orange, green, blue, and yellow. Collect enough of one color to buy a property on the sale board. The number on the property is how much it costs. Next, place the property on the fountain that is the center of your Alhambra. Your objective is to buy as many properties as you can. Buying the same type of property such as the pavilion helps you out later in the game. You also want your walls, represented by the dark borders on the game pieces, to be connected. The more walls you have connected, the more points you get. When a phase card gets drawn, it's time to move your color token on the game board. Movement is based on who has the most properties in each color. For instance, whoever has the most towers in Phase 1 gets to move 6 spaces. At the end of Phase 3, whoever has moved the farthest on the game board is the winner. That'll be my turn. My turn! Yeah, yeah! I saw the green one. Hmm? I want the green one. I know, and I was like... I shuffled the deck and specifically put the, all the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, Jordan, because you only took the two, you can also take the one as well. Oh, I can't. Okay. No reason not to. Okay. But you're dead to me because you just took my chamber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. It's not really bothering me at all. I guess I'll put that there. Okay, that's my turn. Where's the bag? And I have both once. Go. Oh, so you all have. Then you all go up six. Yeah. So Jordan goes up to eighty. Josh goes to ninety-five. And Adam was at eighty-eight. So yeah. At... So move the green one to ninety-five. Yeah. Oh, I moved. Yeah, that was the wrong. I moved the wrong one up. Then, yeah. Okay. All right. Hi. Now Can add up your con connecting wall. One, two, three. Seven for Adam Yellow. Please. I have fifteen. Seven, so that's a hundred one. I have fifteen. So yeah, I'm ninety-eight. I get oh nine. Oh my god, Josh is one, two, oh, three, four, five, humble. six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Ten, Josh eleven. Does. No, those don't count. Oh. That's not connected. So what was the count? One, two, three. It was four, nine. Five, six, seven, yeah. Nine at a hundred four. Very close game. And that's why I was so mad, Jordan, because if I had eight more points, if I had just not taken that white, I would have won by three points. <laughs> yeah. I knew that was going to happen. Because so, Christopher, what did you think about Alhambra? No, sir. I don't like it. All right. Well, let's uh, grade it on our uh, three different scales. Of uh, Let's start off with ease of use. What did we say? A seven. Yeah, seven. There's pictures in the instructions, and if you actually take time to look at it, you won't spend the first round wondering why nobody's picking up money from the second pile. 
It's because there is no second pile. If you look at page three. Right. Page three of the rule book. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, replay value. We decided to uh, give it a six. Um, there are many different ways you can build your village. And you can try to outthink your opponents. But overall, it just uh, really doesn't require that much effort to play. Unfortunately, that's all you're doing is building your little oasis town. There's nothing after that. You can wall yourself in accidentally. And it doesn't go beyond buy, sell, buy, sell. And then overall fun, well, usually we're, you know, speaking more highly of games, you usually see us laughing and uh, cutting up during our games. Mm -hmm. But this one, uh, it was kind of casual, so uh, overall fun, we would uh, give it a five. Um, Apparently, it is it is haunted by the ghost of mediocrity. That's who the spirit is. Ghost of mediocrity. Yeah. So there's Alhambra. I still Alhambra. don't. I still don't know how it got Spiel of the Year, or yeah. Spiel de Jares. 2003 Kritiker Price, but I wouldn't take their word for any other future games. The place this was made must be a very boring place to come from. Alhambra. Is that a real place? I don't know. Like, if I made a a game called Janesville, Wisconsin, would you play it? No. I don't blame you. Alhambra's fun to say, though. Alhambra! Alhambra. All right. That's the most fun I've had with this game so far. <laughs> so uh, if you enjoyed this uh, video, uh, like and subscribe to uh, the Fell Road Express and uh, check out more of our uh, board game reviews. Uh, links are somewhere on this window. Yeah, and I, I promise that the reviews will be better in the future because we won't be doing Alhambra. Alhambra. Yeah. I'll make sure that they're ghost-free. Also, uh, find us on Facebook and Twitter. At Felder Express. Hashtag you actually made a Facebook? Felder Express. Did you make a Facebook, seriously? Oh, yeah, it's been on there. Uh, I made the Facebook when I made the channel.